Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm testing out the new OpenXR Toolkit version 1.2.0 and I'm using the Vario Aero since that's my favourite headset of all time but this also applies to the Revo G2 actually in many cases. At the moment I'm using DLSS on that means I'm not using upscaling and they are my settings. I'm not really using a massive amount but I am using fixed foveated rendering okay and I'm getting pretty decent results. Bear in mind this is vaguely a default aircraft actually this is the beautiful WB sim Cessna 172 and I'm flying over Lafoten Islands with real world weather with very very high settings in fact I'm using the settings in my previous setup video which I'll link in the description below anyway you can see here we're getting between 55 and 60 frames per second um, so it's quite wonderful actually I'm using DLSS set to quality as well but I have to say that the clarity in the cockpit does suffer Right, let's now try DLSS off. Big difference in performance, but now I'm using the upscaling uh, within the OpenXR toolkit itself. FS Academy really does take your flight sim knowledge to the next level. In fact, you'll be greeted by a real wheel pilot and instructor, which will guide you through a series of different training exercises from a GA pilot all the way up to being a full airline captain. In these tutorials, you'll get real bespoke sort of instructions and it will really feel like the pilot is right there beside you. You'll be surprised how much knowledge you'll pick up, even if you're a seasoned veteran like me, or if you're just starting out, there is definitely a training package for you. I'll have links in the description below of where you can find FS Academy and I highly recommend that you give it a go and it's why they are sponsoring this video. Now this again is a bit annoying because I'm getting between 40 and 45 frames per second when I'm not recording, okay, that's kind of important. And in this case, because I'm using the upscaling in the toolkit and not the DRSS option in the sim, the clarity is so much better. It's actually very, very sharp and it still feels very smooth. Probably more processing going on. For the last test, I'm using dynamic, favorited eye tracking, and I've used it in both performance and quality mode. I prefer quality mode, which I'm gonna change now, and I'm getting pretty respectable results here. Now, it's worth noting that with the Reva G2, even with fixed favorited rendering, I have noticed a bit of a boost in frame rate, up to about two to three frames per second in VR. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it means a lot when you're down to 30, 35 frames per second. And in eye tracking mode with the Varia Aero, I'm definitely getting about five frames per second more. Together with the upscaling from FSR, which I prefer, this is actually a pretty decent option for those who do not like DLSS because of the clarity issue, which I totally understand that might be an option for you. So right now, the OpenXR toolkit is still rocking as well as it did when it was first released. In fact, I think this is the best version to date. And Matt, if you are watching this, thank you so much from all of us in the community for all of your insanely hard work with this and the Open Composite for all the rest of the applications that really rock now, particularly for the Pimax AKX in this sim and in DCS. Assessor Corsa, all of the incredible VR experiences we are now having, thanks to your hard work. Please do let me know in the comments how are you getting on with Sim Update 10 in general, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care and bye for now. Hello, folks, welcome to this test using the latest OpenXR Toolkit version 1.1.1.0.6.5. That's wrong. I'll start again. Ah!